All right, homies, so hunting season's coming up and it's time to start switching things over. I've been waiting on this package for a while. It's gonna be good, I think. Let's see what we have. Gosh, it's bright. A long cylinder of a box. What do you think it is? Find out. All right, let's see what we have in store. Pretty stoked. Ooh. Game on. All right, ladies and dudes, so we are talking arrows today, as you saw in the spoiler. Um, we're gonna talk Easton four mil shafts, and we're gonna talk sever broadheads, which will be my buildup. I'm gonna talk about my hunting arrow at the very end. So actually right now, go ahead, comment below, let me know what your hunting arrow is gonna be. Also, do you mem remember this lovely arrow, the ACC, which I'll talk about in a second? Let me know, while you're down there, go ahead and subscribe, surely helps me out. So. Arrows, four mils, we're going to four mils this year. Um, I'll talk about four mils, some of the advantages in a second, some of the drawbacks that I've had, but essentially before I wanna do that, this little ACC, you know, I just have to say, it's kind of nailing the coffin for me a bit. So they were discontinued uh, several years back. Um, this was an aluminum carbon composite arrow. I hunted a lot with this arrow. I was very successful with this arrow as, as well as many, many others. I still have a handful in my garage. Um, they're just not the right spine for some of my modern bow setups. Um, anyway, I'll have to give up my love for that. Well, no, never. I still love that arrow, but I have a new love. And that is, as you saw, the Easton Pro Comp, which is essentially kind of replaced, uh, you know, the ACC in terms of, of that offering. Um, why did I love the ACC? Why do I love the Pro Comp? Well, this is a proven tournament shaft. Uh, the pros have prov proven it time and time again. Um, and, you know, in terms of hunting, if you're really wanting kind of the best straightness, the best tolerances, you're not going through trying to find, you know, the best arrow. Um, you know, I think this is kind of part of what you pay for because they do come at a premium price. Uh, you know, if you've looked at these, they're not cheap. Um, but take it easy. If you stay and watch at the end, there's another couple offerings that um, will help out if, if you're looking for something that's a little bit more budget friendly. Um, all that to say, this is a phenomenal shaft. It's the best of the best uh, for a variety of different reasons. Um, but it is the four mil option, which the ACC was a standard diameter arrow. Four mil advantages, obviously, you know, shooting long distances, wind drag, you know, you've got, you know, over the inches of the arrow, you have less surface area, less surface area is less drag. Um, you know, the penetration benefits uh, are also a plus, you know, um, now some will say and try to, you know, debunk that saying, well, this is the first thing that enters that's bigger than your shaft and it doesn't penetrate. Well, if you've ever shot a, just shoot, go shoot a block target or something right now. Go shoot a five mil, go shoot a standard diameter or a six mil and go shoot one of these and you go tell me, you know, same weight, same everything, which one penetrates more? Uh, at least in my experience, this guy or the four mils certainly penetrate um, really, really well. Um, so all that to say, the pro comp uh, that I'm going with is uh, 300 spine. You know, this is nine and a half uh, grains per inch, which I think is a sweet spot for me because after I do my whole build, which you'll see at the very end, um, I come out to the exact weight of what I like in terms of my hunting arrow. Now, let's say that, you know, 
this doesn't fit your pocketbook, right? And that's not really for you. Well, never to fear. Easton has the uh, four millimeter long range axis. And this is the match grade version, uh, which is a little bit more than their non-match grade version. And the only you know, major difference is really the uh, straightness tolerance. So this is 0 0.001, whereas your standard or say non-match grade uh, four mil axis is gonna be 0 0.003. Um, so, you know, if, if you're going to throw a fixed blade on there, for sure, you're going to want, you know, match grade at least, um, you know, the, you know, could you get away with the, the, the non match grade and try to find some straight ones? You will. Uh, but again, you're paying what you're paying for, um, in terms of a premium is really the straightness. And, you know, I will say out of, I have a couple dozen of the pro comps, I have a dozen of these four mil uh, long ranges. Um, I have not found a bad arrow yet in terms of bad. I'd say one that I would not hunt with. Uh, I think I maybe have found one in the long range at axis, but it's still probably salvageable. Um, but again, the match grades are really sorted out. I think Easton does a great job on that. The uh, four mil axis uh, is a tad bit lighter. So the grains per inch on this. So this is again, you're just comparing 300 spines. You can go look at the spine charts and uh, specs online is uh, 9.3 grains per inch. So slightly less than the pro comp. So for me, um, which I'll talk about in a second, it's gonna come in just a tad under what my pro comp build is. So there's a couple different options for you in terms of um, you know, budget options. Um, now, the, the other thing to kind of consider is with four mil, at least in the past, what my experiences have been, and this is why I haven't gone with them in the past is really in terms of components, the half outs, uh, you know, usually haven't held up or, you know, outserts or whatever they've had, unless you, you know, went to kind of the, uh, you know, deep six options, but then you're limited on broadhead options. Um, so there were a lot of drawbacks and that's why, you know, I wanted to love them. There are a lot of aspects on four mil that I really loved. Um, but, uh, you know, overall it just wasn't worth, you know, the, the hassle of the other things. So the outserts that come are half outs that come with Easton. You have three different options. Um, so we'll start bougie and go all the way down. So titanium, these are titanium uh, half outs. Um, here's one there. It's got a little hot melt on it because I was playing with tuning an arrow. These are 55 grains and titanium would be uh, or is the choice that I went with on pro comps and the uh, long range axis. You know, I love titanium. I've already done a video on titanium for five mil. This is just a four mil option. You don't have to worry about, you know, the, the deep six type of broadheads or, or points or anything like that. Um, you know, it just, uh, I use hot melt to put them in. I always have used hot melt, um, you know, and they work great. So let's say titanium though, again, those come at a price tag. They're very expensive. Um, let's say you're looking for another very durable option. You don't wanna go with aluminum for whatever reason. There is the stainless half outs. So the stainless half outs, um, again, stainless is very, very durable. Um, would be probably my second choice. It's a lot more budget friendly than the titanium. The only thing here you have to consider is instead of 55 grains on the titanium, these are coming in at 95 grains. So a um, couple different reasons you would go with that. If you're wanting a, a uh, kind of heavier total arrow or you're looking to, you know, for something to kind of weaken your spine, depending on, you know, your length and your spine of your arrow, um, you know, that would kind of be something that you would consider overall it would make your total arrow, um, you know, a bit heavier, but that's a good option. Very durable, something to also consider. And then what comes standard with these, um, are the aluminum. So the uh, aluminum half outs are, you know, 50 grains. So very close to the 55 grain titanium. Uh, they're not going to be as durable as titanium, but I will say uh, I've never personally hunted or, or used these much. Um, but I have some, some friends that have used them and really not had that much of an issue, but it's something that if you went with this version, uh, or this option that it's something you just want, kind of want to check on your straightness make sure after you shot it into targets or anything hard um, you'd either want to think about replacing them 
and by replacing that's why hot melt comes into uh, play and very helpful because you can just kind of warm it up in warm water yank it out throw a new one back in but again very budget friendly it comes with the era standard um, but there you have a few different options again i went with the titanium and let's just go ahead and talk about the full arrow my hunting arrow so let's talk about the pro comp first so pro comp with my bow setup it's cut i think a little over 27 and a half i've got the titanium 55 grain uh half out i've got uh, this year's sever their new 1.75 which i've also done a video on that so go check that out if you haven't and that's going to be i'm going to use that for elk i'm going to use it for deer pretty much everything um, in terms of you know my veins i have uh, the tac driver 2.25s we're going four fletch on those i have the one stringer um, custom wraps these are the custom sg wraps i think they're freaking dope um, it looks like uh, jordan cement um, so that's kind of the s it's called air sg or something i don't know that's silly but anyway i love those wraps uh, one stringer does a bunch of custom stuff so if you want something special uh, hit them up um, also i have a code uh, for them i will put in the link i also have a code on severs i'll put um, a, a link or the code in my comment section below so make sure you use those so that is the pro comp total arrow weight on that is coming in right at 450 and 450 again if you followed me last year 450 is really what i look to go for um, you know depending on speed of my bow uh, and for most of the bows that i have that puts me right in the sweet spot in terms of the four mil axis again it is a 300 spine 27 and a half um, inch shaft is where i cut it I've got titanium uh, half outs. Um, this, if you're shooting field points, go check out Easton and Sever's field points. They are freaking slick. Um, really love those. And then in terms of the veins, same veins, different wrap. Wrap's also done by one stringer. Um, again, I think they're pretty cool. This is kind of a topo version. But uh, yeah, I've got the driver 2.25s on there. Total arrow weight on this is coming in about five and a half grains lighter. And again, the only difference is just the shaft. And that is because the GPI is um, uh, 9.3 on these and nine and a half on the pro comps. So that's what I'm going with this year, all around, you know, roughly 450 grain arrow. I get the speeds that I want out of my bows. Um, they've been able to tune excellent on all the bows that I have played with. Um, so yeah it's hunting season get rolling there's a few options on the four mils i think you can't go wrong with any of the three shafts that i've talked about um you know in terms of half outs again the titanium is what i would recommend but there's also the other options are just as good just depends on your budget and of course i always plug you know my severs because i think that they are a phenomenal head um, they've got 1.5s 1.75s and the 2.0s go check them out uh, and with that, I really appreciate you guys tuning in. Hit a like, hit a subscribe, and as always, aim small, miss small.